Hey guys, Ryan here. Uh, today I'm not, I lost my chair. I think it's in the other room, but I did not get a chance to look at it. So today we're going to be doing the Walking Dead issue 164 review. Um, great, great issue, honestly. I mean, n not a lot of stuff happened, but I feel like the conversation and stuff in between the characters moved the story forward a little bit. Um, so I finally got my doubles for this one. I never got to get my other two copies because my comic book store was only able to get one other copy. And then I got my doubles for this, though. So, phenomenal issue. Um, so I really liked the beginning because this panel is, like, almost identical to the panel that we have on the first page with Rick and this one because you have... Rick and Dwight right there, and then you have Maggie, Carl, and the Hilltop residents, and you got Dante and Lydia. So they, they come up on it all, like Maggie, Carl, Lydia, Dante, and the Hilltop residents, all of them, they, um, they come up on Alexandria filled with walkers, then Michonne and Jesus come over to help reassure them and stuff, and then you have Maggie who goes, and Maggie and Dante who go with Michonne and Jesus and all that. Um, Rick and Negan get to safety in the house. Um, so, and then you've got Andrea, who's sounding the horn to draw away Magna, and Yumiko, um, uh, join her. And then you have right here, John and Kelly in the hospital with, jo with, uh, with Connie's, like, really bad hand and stuff. And you got Sadig and Annie in Eugene's house, and he has the, uh, shoot, I can't remember, yeah, the radio thing that he's talking to the other girl with. And then you have... Uh, it looks like Vincent and his wife uh, talking to some Alexandrians that have gotten to safety in his house. And he, she says, we're going to get through this. We'll find a way we always do. And then you have Rick and Negan talking. And I really like this top panel uh, with Rick and Negan up here. Just like them both sitting on either sides of the room talk, like just staring at each other. Uh, Asks him what's the worst thing he's ever done in his life, and he, Rick says the worst thing he's ever done in his life was live with so many others who shouldn't have did. I mean, who should have did, didn't. Who, when so many others who should have didn't. So, and then he, I, I really like the part where he really opened up to Rick and told him about his wife. Uh, and then we have a page between Eugene and Heath talking about how he skilled Eugene is. <laughs> I like the part where he, Heath's. I don't know what I said, but Heath and Eugene. I'm not sure. I think I might have said something else. I'm not sure. But then I like the part where Heath says, we're so effed up. I thought that was funny. Uh, so. And then you got all of them teaming up pretty much to lead them away. So now we have Dwight, Laura. Well, at the end of all of this conversation, we have Dwight, Laura, and Heath. Yeah, Dwight, Laura, Heath are going to go into Alexander Gitter. I'm going to circle around to go into Alexandria. Andrea, Yumiko, Magna, and Eugene are going to go and try to lead a few of the other walkers away, I think. And then you have Rick and Negan back again. And you have Negan who's going to go out and fight the walkers. And then Rick's behind him um, with a gun. And I really, really like this part where he says, um, you stay by the door, cover me. Um, stuff gets crazy, you, you jump back, you jump back inside, don't, he, and then he says, don't shoot me, okay, unless of course you think I still deserve it, <laughs> that was funny, and then he goes, holy crap, Rick, can you believe it, we're working together, and then I like the bottom panel, this is really my favorite panel of the issue, where you have Negan about to go out and fight some walkers, and Rick behind him, and I really like this page too, where you have Carl, he's talking to all the hilltop people, and, um, He's just like, like a new leader kind of, and I feel like maybe uh, 40, 50 issues or so, maybe even more, like 60 maybe or something, uh, he gets in charge of maybe a different community that they find or something, I don't know. But then the last page, um, as usual, the last current issues, issue 161, 163, we end up back at the Saviors where they say well, that they're going to go attack. Okay, you've said that how many times now at the end of an issue? But I'm just saying, every time that we get that, that we get that in, he's, because in this one, it gives us more information. He says in a few hours, he's going to go to, they're going to go to attack. So, um, 
Thanks for watching my Walking Dead issue 164 review. It's Walking Dead 164 A Fallen House. Um, and it re was released today, February 15th. And I know for sure I'll have to upload this up video tomorrow, February 16th. Or if you're watching it, then I guess it'll probably be today or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, so this was, if I had to get it rated on a scale of nine, of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it about either a 9, 9.5. Because just something about the issue was really really good i really liked it and because like i mean you had them drawing most of the walkers away and then you also had them uh like they connected negan and rick really connected in this issue but i mean rick is still looking at him with that glare like you killed good and that kind of stuff so and then i really liked i'm gonna do a little discussion topic really quickly about the uh thing the conversation between negan and rick uh he he says now she's, um, he talks, this is how he describes his wife now. She, he says, she's a pile of dry bones rotting on a floor, my wife, because of me. Um, and then he says, worst, and then this is what Negan's worst thing he ever did. His worst thing I ever did was leave my wife to rot. So, um, and then I really, um, so he opens up and he tells him all about his wife um, and stuff. And then he tells him why he killed Gwen and all that stuff, like, it's just how it is these days, and he doesn't think, oh, wait, where is it? Okay, yeah, he says he just lost all respect for the human race, because it's just, and we've obviously figured that out by now, so. But thank you guys for watching my Walking Dead 164, A Fallen House Review, re released February 15th, so if you're watching this after, which you obviously will, because I'm uploading this tomorrow, February 16th, so, um. Thank you guys for watching my review. Um, great, great issue, as I've said already. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.